Hello YouTube world! My name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with the December book haul and stationery haul, which I know I said last time that I'm trying not to buy too many books, but I can't help myself. <laughs> so at least it's only two books this time. Um, again, a lot smaller of a book haul than a stationery haul, but well, I couldn't help myself. So this first book um, is called Shine by Jessica Jung, and Jessica is a real life uh, international K-pop star, if you have heard of her before. Um, she wrote this book a few years ago. Um, it's fiction, but it's kind of loosely still based off of her experience uh, going through the whole K-pop training camp um, that they have in South Korea to train people to become K-pop stars. Um, so very dramatized. There's a lot of drama in this book. I had I have already read this book, but I bought it because I actually really liked it. And this cover is really pretty. It's obviously shiny because it's called Shine. Um, and I really like this book, so I definitely had to pick it up when I saw it in um, my local used bookstore, Book Off, in New York. And this next book, I realized when I put these books side by side that they're actually very similar covers because they both kind of have like these sparkly stars, the cover title font is kind of like a cursive script, um, so it's kind of funny how I picked out two books that actually look really similar. Uh, but anyway, this next book is called In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. Um, this book is really popular, again I've seen it all over social media. It's a really short book. I mean, it's not too long, so and I'm already in the process of reading it, so I'm hoping to finish this quite soon. Um, but it's about a woman living in New York who one night travels into the future, like five years into the future, obviously, and she stays there for an hour and experiences what her life is expected to be in five years and then she wakes up back in her present time and yeah she just then has to live her life for the next five years wondering if what she had visioned or dreamt up would actually come true and honestly that's as far as I've gotten into the book so we'll see how this book is I will do a full book review after I finish this book, but I probably won't post it until early next year. So you can look forward to seeing that. Okay, next we are moving on to the stationary part of this video. And first up is these two stickers and a pin from the company called Thousand Skies. It came with this very cute thank you card. Um, which I think this is one of their designs of, um, like this duck they also sell on their store. Um, look how cute it is. But yes, yeah, so I got two stickers. One is a pizza-loving corgi, and the next one is a corgi in a backpack. It's funny, I don't have a dog. Um, I just think corgis are really cute. Like you know, most people do, um, but it, it's just weird because I don't have a dog, so I don't know why I keep buying cute dog stickers, but I do, and I feel like when I have these stickers on things, people may think I have a dog, and especially may think I have a corgi, but I, I don't, so, but the next thing I bought from Thousand Skies is this pin. Um, it's an ammo pin of a border collie. I don't, ha again, like I said, I don't have a dog, but I did buy this as a Christmas gift for um, a friend who does have two dogs who are Jindo mixes. So they're not border collies, but they look very similar to how this dog looks. Um, so I figure she won't mind. 
and unfortunately I'm not going to open it because this is a gift um, for someone, um, but I think you can see it. It's a very cute dog. I hope she doesn't mind that it says Border Collie. It's close enough. Okay, next are some stickers that I got from a local artist named um, Vicky is Drawing. And I got three um, standalone stickers from her and three sticker sheets. So the standalone stickers, I don't have too much of a story behind them. I just thought they were cute. So it's a cat on a lily pad leaf with a tulip maybe on its head. This next one is a hot pot sticker that says love is stored in the hot pot. And this next one is adorable. It says head, um, head empty, no thoughts. It's a bear in front of its laptop. And these next three sticker sheets are interesting. Um, again, these stickers are very like papery, um, which is interesting. I Most of the stickers I've bought in the past have had like the plastic sheen or like a vinyl sheen over it, um, but I'm starting to buy a lot more paper stickers, which will be better for journaling uh, because they're thinner, but I just hope I don't get them wet because they're probably going to um, get destroyed really easily. But this first one is some frogs with sakura blossoms, which I have to save until probably March or April when it is cherry blossom season, but I will hold on to these until then. Next is the Asian bakery stickers. Um, if you've ever been to an Asian bakery, um, these are some very classic breads and desserts. It's the egg tart, some boughs, pineapple bun, cream bun, fruit sponge cake, hot dog bun, and others. So, okay. And lastly is a Spy Family sticker sheet. Um, I love Spy Family and I especially love Anya, again, like most people do. Um, if you haven't heard of Spy Family, it's a anime um, that just released its second season, uh, but the first season I believe is still on Hulu, so you can watch it there, but Spy Family is so cute. I had seen some people do Spy Family themes for their bullet journal, so I'm thinking of doing a Spy Family theme for my bullet journal next year as well, um, just because I now have a lot of stickers of Anya and I think I can draw some really cute things for her. Um, okay. Alright, next is a washi tape and enamel pin from this company called the Bao Bay Shop. This was a freebie sticker. I think this is kind of like their signature face, kind of like a smirk. Um, but the pin is of a bag of shrimp chips. These were a favorite snack of my family growing up. Not as much anymore, but I still buy them every once in a while from the store. And then this washi tape is of dim sum. So it's, I got this because it's so unique. I've never seen dim sum washi tape before. It has the little ordering sheet, it has chicken feet, the teapot, shumai, hagao, some egg tarts, spring rolls, dumplings, everything you get at dim sum, or at least the most popular items. I probably won't keep this for myself, I'll probably give it to my friend as a Christmas gift, but I guess I can always buy another one for myself if I want to. Okay, next, sticking with the 
Asian theme because I did really want to support a lot of local and small Asian business owners. I bought these online from a company called Nida Mama, which translates to your mother or your mom in uh, Mandarin. Um, so this was like a freebie sticker from them. It's their company logo. And I got a couple of different things from them. And they also gave me some other freebies. But this first thing is a um, patch that you can iron on to clothes or a tote bag or whatnot. Um, it's of green onions or scallions inside of a jar with water because it's a very classic thing to try to regrow your scallions after you eat or chop off the green parts. You can put the little bases back into a glass of water and they'll regrow. Um, so it's a very classic thing to save a little bit of money and get the most out of your purchase from the grocery store. Um, okay, this one was a freebie, I believe. It's a Santa Claus holding a little bow. Um, and this is kind of like a Cantonese pun because in Cantonese, um, this says, well, in English it says good, good, good. Um, but in Cantonese it's kind of pronounced like ho, ho, ho. Um, so they kind of combined it with the Santa as a pun because Santa kind of goes ho, ho, ho. At least that's what we think. And this next one I purchased, again, it's a Cantonese pun because it's three shrimps and kind of how you pronounce shrimp in Cantonese is kind of like ha ha ha. Um, so it's kind of a pun because it's like laughing shrimp, but in Cantonese it's ha ha ha. Okay, and these Last stickers I got came in a pack. Um, again, these are standalone die cut stickers of Chinese bakery items. So you have your egg tart, your hot dog bun, custard bun, pineapple bun, maybe like a scallion bread. Uh, don't know if there's a specific name for this bun type. Um, and then a barbecue roasted pork bun, also known as a cha siu bao. And then obviously all of them together in a box, your classic pink Asian bakery box. Um, but yeah, again, I really wanted to buy some Asian themed stickers this month because I think they're kind of unique. You don't see them too often in the mainstream um, kind of popular sticker stores, so wanted to support these Asian-owned businesses. Okay, last but not least, I picked up these three stickers um, from a company called Melancholy Co. So this first one is a Poro. Um, you may recognize it from League of Legends and it has the mustache um, from Braum. So I think this is so adorable if you play League of Legends or just follow the cuteness of League. Um, like I don't actually play League that much, but I'm at least familiar with some of the characters and Poros are definitely my favorite. This next one is um, of a Game Boy color, maybe? Like the old, one of the old school Game Boys. Um, and it has Kirby on it. Kirby is one of my favorite Nintendo characters because he is pink and round and so cute. So I had to pick this one up. And this last one I had seen when the artist um, first announced this sticker and I wanted it immediately because it is so cute. It is 
Uh, you'll, rec it, you'll recognize this flag if you've ever eaten at Jollibee's, which is a Filipino um, kind of fast food chicken restaurant, kind of like your KFC or Popeyes, but um, I think it's cute because this is like obviously a live chicken, but has the spicy flag in it, so it autom automatically makes you think of the Jollibee's fried chicken, um, which Jollibee's fried chicken sandwich is my all-time favorite chicken sandwich. It beats Popeyes, it beats Burger King, Wendy's, everybody else who makes a fried chicken sandwich doesn't hold a candle to Jollibee's fried chicken sandwich. Maybe a controversial opinion, let me know if you disagree, but I will argue to the day I die that Jollibee's fried chicken sandwich is the best. So, had to get this one. Alright, so that is all of the books and stationery that I purchased in the month of December so far. I am filming this in the middle of the month, so honestly no promises that I will not have more stickers purchased before the end of the year. Honestly, I probably will. I even know for a fact that I have some orders coming in. Um, but so far, these are these are all the stickers that I um, have purchased so far. So yep, that was my book and stationery haul for this month. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it so so much if you could like and subscribe. I did similar book hauls and stationery hauls for the months of October and November, which you can find in my other videos section. Um, I may also link it down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hi! Okay, sorry, I'm back really quick because as I was editing this video, my happy mail from Hubman and Chub Girl just came in, so I'm gonna open this really quick. Um, so that I can include it in this video. So first off, I got this really cute Lunar New Year washi tape. It's gold foil and sorry that the lighting is really bad right now, but hopefully you could see it. These are the designs, which you can probably see a little bit better. Okay, next I got some stickers, I believe. Oh, I got a lot more than I remember. Okay, first up is this gamer's sticker sheet. cute folder that the planning stickers came in. This is so cute. I'm a sucker for this gold foil. Okay, so I got these food takeout planner stickers for my bullet journal to keep track of when I order takeout. These game night stickers for when I have board game night. These little Switch controllers and Nintendo Switch stickers. I got these tropical fruit stickers. And then these Hawaiian snack stickers. These are from when they had their trip to Hawaii. They released these Hawaiian stickers. Okay, that's it. This is just 
to show you really quick what I got from Hubman and Shep Girl. Alright, bye!